Hey guys, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And this is the return to Twilight. We are here with Minna, uh, probably like, you know, the world's favorite companion, right? <laughs> like, and uh, we're trying our best uh, to hone our senses through what seems to be an infestation of Twilight here. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? So we have to actually use, I think this is one of the most fun things, because it's only just pressing a button, but it works so well. I guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you all the small ledges. Just Z-target me and press A to jump to where I am. And it works, it, no, it just works. It just freaking works. Um, I don't know if you guys ever played Eco, but I was thinking about it in the uh, time in between this episode and the other episode. Um, but it also gives me like some, and I'm not saying like, by the way, I'm not being like, cause they came out like very close to each other and like, it's not like development started well, you know, before, uh, like before Eco even came out. So it's not like, I'm not saying, before people say, Calvin, stop comparing stuff. I'm not trying to be like, oh, this game like just takes inspiration from everything. Not at all. This game is extremely unique and special. And I've said that numerous times. Uh, but, it, you know, every game we play, no matter what, even games that I love, uh, give me vibes from other games and other shows and other movies. Let's go over here and get this stuff. I don't want to, like, fall like fall off by accident, you know? What is... What was the point of corner here? Oh, well, rupees, I suppose. I didn't, I didn't know they had rupees in them. Nice little heart. Heart will do. Oh. Well done. I love the way Minda, like, you can, like, kind of see, like, I, I don't want to fall off just in case I do just fall off fully. Uh, but she kind of, like, digs onto Link's back uh, when he's, he's falling off. He just doesn't just stay upright. A lot of this game is just done amazingly well. Okay, let's kill some of these again. We have 112 rupees. I'm hoping to collect, like, I'm sure, like, there's some easy way to get, like, a bunch of rupees. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but we're just gonna, like, make sure we're very smart with our rupees and smart with our combat as well so we don't just die. Perfect. Oh, Lord. How do we break the- oh, B, B to attack to get- I guess- I guess we didn't need the heart, though. So we can't go through this door. Give me a rupee. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have to find a place to climb. Well, I guess we could just like jump up from here, right? Wait, do we have to stand up here? Yeah. So you know where we are yet. Well, if you go to the top, you might figure it out. That door just opening, what the fuck? Oh shit, I mean, I, I, I definitely pressed B there, I felt it there. That was definitely me. Let's head in. I don't know if you guys know, by the way, they, dro they shadow dropped you the Yakuza games the other day. And it, it was fucking amazing. I'm so fucking excited about it. And I, I've been playing Yakuza 3. And they just shadow dropped Yakuza 3. I also bought the Yugo game on the Switch, uh, but I haven't gotten a chance to play it because of Yakuza 3, but I'm hoping to like get a little bit of a chance to play it. Uh, maybe even play it on stream. So we're finally up to get out. And look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where this is? Still don't know, uh-huh. Look, there's someone I want to introduce you to, but I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. I know who you want me to be introduced to. Um, I don't know if you guys ever get that, but like, I'm playing this game, and at first, I'm like, you know, I don't really recognize everything that's happening here. And then like, it's like, it triggers something in my memory, I'm like, oh, I remember this. This whole spear thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though these guys can see monsters, they don't know a thing about you. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check it out? Use X to hone your fine senses. What? What are these monstrous birds? What in the world is happening here? Oh, our poor Hyrule Castle. So we are in Hyrule Castle. That is the reveal. That wasn't the person I wanted you to meet, by the way. Let's just try to get to that tower. 
She's so mischievous. And, like, it's such a good character element, right? Like, I love her. I love, I love... Minna to freaking death. I love her to pieces. I think they take two slaps, don't they? The music when you hit them, it's almost like you've made a mistake, almost. Like, do you get? Do you, do you ever? Do you, anyone get that impression too? Too when you hit when you hit them? Come down to me. Come down to me, my. Minna is smiling, and oh, I love, I love her, I love her, <laughs> I love her to death. <laughs> okay, let's go. I mean, a heart is good. Um. How are we gonna get over to here? Oh, okay. Look, just a little farther. It's funny how that can be actually like fun. Shit, oh, I forgot. Oh no, we can just, we can just land on here, can't we? That's probably good for us anyway to land on here so we can get these items. I don't think I ever got this stuff when I came on here first time. Which is kind of dumb, right? It's kind of dumb that I didn't just, like, in a Zelda game, I didn't explore the these, these little clear platforms down below. Oh. Link's got it. Link, Link's got it. Oh, the blue ruby fell off. Okay, okay, we missed out five rupees. We, we missed out on five rupees, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there's nothing down. But I, I'm glad they added the down, so like it, it seems more real. And here we go. Oh my god. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Can you see her through? You can. Wait, I think I need to stand over here then, don't I? You can definitely see her through there. Minna? Think my purse is mine? You remember my name. What an honor for me. So this is the one for whom you were searching. You do think it's me. He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do. You were imprisoned. I am sorry. Poor thing, he has no idea where he is, or what's happened. So don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. <laughs> Twilight Princess. Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule, but the blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadow ruled by creatures who shun the light. One of the one of the best reveals I think coming up anyway.
I always debate as well, is this my favorite Zelda character model? I think it might be Breath of the Wilds or Skyward Swords, but I, I love this character model so much. Nah, it's this one. <laughs> I love this character model of her. Hello, Zant. <laughs> I remember getting his helmet in Breath of the Wild and being like so fucking excited. All of this is done on such a grand scale as well, though. It's time for you to choose, surrender, or die. Oh yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? <laughs> Such a cool sword as well. Is that Link? Am I getting that completely wrong, or is that just one of the goddesses? <laughs> Such a cool scene. It's fucking horrific though as well, just like, Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud, and without lights the people became spirits. All of them just watching the city they knew and their lives burning away. Within the twilight they lived on, unaware they had passed into spirit forms. All the people know now is fear. Fear of a nameless evil. The kingdom succumbed to the twilight. But I remain its princess. There she is. You know, this is definitely my favorite Zelda character model. I am Zelda. You don't have to- I'm getting chills. That music, you don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, it's perpetual twilight really that- all that bad? Minna, this is no time for levity. The shadow beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed, you tell me. The only person that like you can kind of see Minna is kind of like a little bit cheap, not sheepish, but like half sheepish around is Princess Zelda. Like some kind of respect to, uh, for her. Time has grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. Yeah, it's definitely the brown hair as well. It looks so good. You must leave here quickly. Please, you must leave quickly before the guards come. So it's a very, oh, it's a very uh, strange room though, right? If you think about it. Like, yeah, there's the bed here and there's like, it's definitely her room. I love that like the roaring fire is going there as well. It all looks great. Um, why don't we, yeah, and I'm going to explain a lot more in, in a little bit more detail as time goes on. Let's just open this door a little bit more. We want uh, the guards to get a full view when they come in. Um, gonna explain a little bit more in detail why I love this scene so much and why I love that the Zelda so much throughout the whole game. Uh, hopefully I'm not remembering it wrong and I'm right about what I think though. Not that way, the guard's coming. Boy, he's prompt. Oh, he's saying like, like, uh, like Link is ready to strike. Thank you. 
Well, do you understand where we are now? I guess a promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into the twilight. But are you really sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? Oh my god, I... What? <laughs> Do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Minda would be happy to help you. But... Well, you'd have to be my servant and act like a servant. You'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time and give us some thought. Leave it to, like, a Zelda game to show, like... A conflicted emotion in a wolf. <laughs> That's so dark, though. You can definitely see why people see this as their favorite Zelda game. I think I think it's I think it's more than apparent. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the darkened realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self, and you won't anytime soon. Now, why could that be? See you later. Playing tricks with us. Not only that, but like, there's very clear, like, Minna very, very much has a goal herself. And, uh, like, she knows our emotions as well. Because she knows, again, she talked about how, like, humans are very, like, you know, emotional and kind of like, I guess, over emotional? So, um, what next? Oh, she's here again? Yes. Yeah, here we go. Did you think I disappeared? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't you think you can just run off and save your friends because you can't? Just beyond that bridge is the land covered in twilight. Last time a shadow beast pulled you through a curtain of twilight. But if you want to go this way, you'll need the cooperation of someone from the twilight. Like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that, was, uh, is, uh, and all that well, that'll depend on your actions. Because you can never trust words, you know? Right now, I want a sword and a shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? So what do you plan to do? While you're here dawdling and the twilight continues to expand, come on, hurry it up. Again, like, Minda is very manipulative, and I think I pointed this out very early on in my other playthrough too. Uh, but it's what it makes her a very interesting character, in all fairness. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot this mechanic, right? Okay, let's try this again. So we don't need to go, but you can, like, jump on them. Roll. That's that's so cute. <laughs> that's the cutest shit. Warden Village. So do we not have that move yet? Is that it? Because I know you can like do like a big jump into them like that as well. Oh, maybe you have to press B. We'll see. We'll see as time goes on. I think I know where we have to get the sword. Wait. The squirrel. We can talk to a squirrel. Thank you guys for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a myth. They kidnapped the village children. But I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Aldon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to animals. We animals understand one another. You'll be alright. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I forgot you can talk to animals in this game. <laughs> oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please. Forgive your good for nothing, father. It's so fucking dark. It's so dark. So we have to get around this place, uh... While avoid- I think we can get in through the back through here. Uh, we have to go get around this place while avoiding, uh, being seen. So that's Colin's house. We know he's missing. Um, or maybe it, is it this place we have to go? Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's a different house I'm thinking of altogether. It very well could be. Okay, so we have to, like... Oh, oh, we can speak chicken. Oh, fresh fish, huh? You're in a shop want to realize that you needed to come to introduce yourself to me? If not, no, I think about this time I can tell you. 
What do you say? Let me tell you, this has usually got quite a village, but there was a bit of a rocket today. If you got an old monster's attacked the village and made off with the little brats, you look a bit like a monster yourself. If you're going to be hugging around the town, you may want to stay outside the people. So that gives us a little bit of information about like, I wonder can we go up here? Um, the reason why I, want, I, I say I wonder if we can go up here is because I think I want to talk to... Uh, let's see if we can go in here first of all. No. Okay, there's no goats here. I wanted to talk to a goat. I wanted to make friends with a goat. <laughs> it doesn't seem that, that like that's happening. Uh, okay, so... I think, I think that there's plenty of ways we can get through this, again into this area, but we have to find, like, like, again, I'm not... Can I speak to, can I speak to this clucker? Again, not all of it's gonna be very apparent to me at first. Oh, about the shield. Hey, not so loud. So the shield is in that house, but can we get up this ladder? So, I wonder, can we swim in the water over to here? Wait, we have to like, hold on a second. I think I, wait, no, can we jump up to, up to that? Oh, we can listen in, okay. I came into it as we discussed. I came to it. As we discussed. Wait, what? You came to it as you discussed? Um. I'm not entirely sure what to do here, but we're gonna figure it out. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've played this game. So can I scare these guys away? Monsters! Quick hide! Were you trying to listen to the humans talk? You understand human words? That's amazing. I tried listening to it too, but I didn't understand a thing. If you sneak up on them and try to listen, I bet you're gonna hear something good. So we have to uh, sneak up on them and, and hear what they have to say. Okay. Um, I don't know when they'll come back though. Um, I guess I'll have to scare them back into that position, I guess. No, they just came back. Okay, so we're gonna go around again and try and listen to what they say. Guys, you know what? I actually think that would be an incredibly good place to end this video. Um, I don't want to get too far into this and then realize I have to start all over again. I will see you guys very soon. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I really am, and goodbye.